Hi Infinite Energy, this is Lady Duchess and I am doing a video on sexuality and love in the pagan community. <laughs> uh, will you hush? I'm talking to you. Sorry about that job. One of my familiars. So, as a separate socio-religious community, the neo-pagan world has a myriad forms, including how it approaches relationships and commitment. Many newcomers to paganism find them. Lucy is so rude. Anyway, uh, many newcomers to paganism find themselves examining what their beliefs and choices regarding relationships, where they come from, and they got y'all got to kind of decide for yourself. What is healthy and acceptable to you? Lucy, chill. Accepting the diversity and the freedom can be challenging to many in the American culture because we're based on like period and values and beliefs, right? So I'm going to talk about commitment, like levels of commitment, um, Levels of commitment, monogamy, poly, uh, polyamory lifestyles, celibacy, uh, relationship terms, and what else I write down? Types of friendship and some suggested reading that you can actually read to go into this even further. So, um, commitment, levels of commitment. Um Hand fasted is like a Lucy, chill. Sorry. <laughs> so hand fast is like a couple or a group who's exchanged vows of commitment for like a year and a day, usually as preparation for like permanent vows. Um, in hand fasting, the phrase as long as the love shall last. Is often exchanged instead of like to death do us part. So this kind of reinforces the bond between a couple. It's sacred, must be nurtured, and it's not taken for granted or entered in lightly. Um, we vow not to only love our chosen mates, but to honor and respect each other um, in where life may lead us. Um, married, married is like for a couple or a group. Uh, and when I say group, it could be men, it could be women, um, men and women. Um, that's what I mean by a group. Um, it's exchanged by permanent vows of commitment for this lifetime as long as the love shall last. <laughs> like, that might not be permanent. <laughs> um, the next one is like life bonded. Life bonded is like a couple or a group who's exchanged permanent vows a commitment for this lifetime until death do us part. Then you have your soul bonded. The soul bonded is like a group or a couple that have exchanged vows of commitment, binding them through this and all lives to come. Because some of them have like twin flames like I have. <laughs> um, then you have heart mates. H-E-A-R-T-H -E mates. Um, that's like for a couple or a group in a committed relationship and they're living together. Lucy! Clearly she don't want me to do this video. Um, soulmates is like for a couple or a, soul, a couple or a group who have recognized their deep and loving soul connection through many lives. Soulmates, that's like truly the definition of a soulmate and I believe that I am with my soulmate, my twin flame. And I love him. Um, and then you have like brother and sister, which is like commonly referred to as like members of a coven or group or tradition or order. And it could be prefaced with heart sister, heart brother to describe a heart friend who's even a, you know, a brother or sister. So next is, I know you sexy pagans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one is like monogamy, polyamory, and celibacy. Oh my. Um, it's not true that all pagans have an open relationship, group marriages, and free love. That's not true. That's like a big myth. So what 
does tend to be true in a monogamy is not assumed that that's like not the only type of like healthy relationship. Pagans are more like socially acceptable. They have more socially acceptable options of what they consider to be happy, healthy relationships. And it's all based on mutuality, respect, consideration of their partner's feelings. Now, some people are like, no, they're like naturally monogamous. Um, they're fulfilled with like their partner and their choice and that's it. Um, it's a couple's mutual decision to be in a close relationship. This is considered normal and also a normal path in the Western like cultures. So, mo some people like are naturally polyamorous. Now, I believe in fairies and human fairies. Like women and men, they are fairies. Um, and I believe that that fairy sparkling dust makes them really hypersexual. And I'm not crazy for thinking it. I'm just telling you those are my thoughts and what I kind of think about that. Um, but some people are like naturally polyamorous and mean they choose to have more than one romantic sexual partner. Um, it's a common misconception that all polyamory is about sex. Polyamory is not, and I might be pronouncing it wrong and I'm sorry, it's not the same as a swinger. A swinger is like some people, they a couple, they go like the swingers clubs. This is bothering me, this little piece of this scarf right here. But they go to like uh, swingers clubs and they have like threesomes and they just be wowing out. <laughs> But in a polyamorous relationship, all parties are involved, all have agreed and have the expression of affection and attraction towards each other is natural, it's healthy, desirable, and it's comfortable. Polyamory is about relationships. Um, you're talking about people that they have a deep commitment and stuff like that and they want to be together and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, there must be security, though. In a primary relationship, boundaries must be clear and understood, feeling respected, mutual communication, and trust. All this has to be maintained in order to foster such a foundation for those type of individual polyamorous relationships. Um, they often sit down, discuss the boundaries, you know, the rules they mutually agree to and adhere to. Um, if something is wrong in the primary relationship or other relationships, they put on a hole and the secondary relationship can take a place or interfere with the primary relationship if they not, you know, if not fluent. So the primary relationship must re remain like healthy, respected, nurtured for the other relationship to exist and be healthy. So like this is like my serious disclaimer and my serious point of all this. Um, in the era of AIDS and STDs, you and your partner, y'all, should be getting tested before engaging in any type of sexual activity. Because I'm not telling you this is a free for all. I ain't saying it at all. Because you know how some of y'all take my videos and get in y'all feelings, and now y'all gonna think that I'm promoting polyamorous relationships when in fact I am married to one man and one man only. <laughs> So let me just say that because some of y'all be ready to go off on me about my videos and the stuff that I say. So I'm not promoting it. I'm just talking about paganism and the freedom to find what makes you happy. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not naked either. So, um, oh, take time to become friends first. You know, don't gamble your life away or anybody else's because you're raging pagan hormones. <laughs> Okay, this applies to like physical and even the emotional health of everybody that's involved. You know, respect is key. Respect of others is key. Decisions and respects of your own choices. That's pretty much what I'm saying. You know, don't let anyone talk you into doing something that you're not emotionally ready for. It isn't just a choice, but it's a natural inclination combined with like mutuality, you know, of that choice that counts. Um, in monogamous, polyamorous, homosexual, being a celibate, being celibate. These are decisions that if made, if you live in, you can live harmonious with a healthy way, emotional, spiritual, physically, you know, it just need, everything needs to be respected and honored. That's the whole point of all of this. Um, some key relationship terms. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Some key relationship terms is dating, keeping company. Um, that means it's like a casual friendship 
I'm going to say relationship between two people who are sexually, intellectually, or spiritually attracted to one another. They may or may not include sex or be exclusive. Um, open. That means uh, loving partners committed to a relationship who are usually sexually involved but do not desire exclusivity. Ex God. Exclusivity. Exclusively. Ex okay. Being exclusive. Um, Semi-open is like a, a committed couple who have agreed to invite in another sexual partner known as a secondary. Um, the partners have mutually agreed to this decision is a set of ground rules that address the boundaries, conduct time and knowledge and disclosure. Um, closed. That's a monogamous couple who are sexually only with each other by agreement. They don't want any other partners considering the relationship and they want this to be a deep, lasting commitment to one another. That's what me and my husband is. Don't nobody else in the scene in it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I know as if. <laughs> he think I'm like the prettiest thing in the world. And I just, I don't know. You know, I think I might. So, lovers. Lovers is a sexual relationship based on mutual love, respect, and desire. Um, Non-pagan usage often denotes like a lesbian or gay couple in a monogamous, monogamous relationship. A group slash clan. That's like a group of people who love, respect, and who are sexually involved together in a committed long-term relationship. They are... Like an infinite number of ways and structure of how this group relationship is involved, but all they are involved in the consensus of it. This group can be exclusive, open, semi open. I mean, they could just be, they kind of like be wild now to me a little bit, but you know, ain't nobody judging it. <laughs> um, secondary is a sexual partner who's involved with a primary partner. They are not treated or considered less than the primary partner. However, the, their desires and needs must fit into the agreed boundary of the primary, like the dynamic couple, stuff like that. So those are like some key terms. Um, and then uh, in addition to loving or caring, pagans have like the opportunity to express themselves. This is what I'm saying. Um, without guilt associated with sex, but by most of the rest of the society, like decisions regarding how a relationship is structured and mutual and respectful of our parties. Like, again, I got to say, be respectful. You know, um, we face the same challenges as any people in a, you know, a loving relationship, perfect love, unconditional, unconditional, <laughs> And the perfect trust are like the basis of any healthy, long-lasting relationship. Communication is consistent, loving, and considerate. Couples must be honest, unafraid of expressing their feelings. They've got to work through, you know, rejection, insecurity, abandonment, and jealousy. There's no room for any of that in a healthy relationship. Um, there's doubtably like true for an upper relationship, but you got to, you know, everybody got to agree. Um, like judgment, free will, consent, like everybody must be in agreement. I mean, I don't know how more to say that. I mean, for real. I mean, it goes without saying. Um, children, minors, they are not acceptable, a sex, a acceptable sexual partner. Um, they are never sexually propositioned. Um, that's a crime and it will get you five to 10, uh, years. <laughs> um, anyway, no relationship can be healthy unless our parties involved. They got to communicate. They got to contribute to the direction of the relationship, wherever it's headed, you know, mutual agreement, boundaries, blah, 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 blah. You know, no pressure, no manipulation, uh, omission, you know, deny choice. Say, man, don't lie. Be honest. You know what I'm saying? Respect the honesty is like, so important. Anyway, um, you know, we can't make assumptions about like the structure of like lifestyle of other people, but in the pagan community and almost in any relationship, it could be structured according to, you know, natural inclinations of people. So my thing was to kind of like give you guys, um, kind of like, you know, talk about this because there's so many different myths. Um, if some suggested reading real quick, The Art of Sexual Ecstasy by Margo Anna, A-N-A-N-D, um, uh, Crafting the Body Divine, um, Ritual Movement by Yasmin, G-A-L-E-N-O-R-N, -E and then, uh, Green Fire, you know, Making Love with the Goddess 
by Siranoa Knight. His name's uh, S I R O N A Knight. Anyway, um, this is just my little rendition of sexuality and love in the pagan community. I hope I'll make too. I don't hope I'll make y'all mad. <laughs> But I'm just trying to educate, just trying to educate, educate, educate. So communicate, uh, establish a healthy relationship that's good for you guys. Whatever works. That's the key. Um, this is Lady Duchess, Infinite Energy. I love you guys. Bye.